Peji, it's late summer and the housing market has slowed down. Are there opportunity for buyers in this market? Woo, I'm glad you asked. We're going to talk about that in a minute. Hey there, this is KG. I'm a realtor with Fairfax Realty in Greenbelt, where we have buyers to buy the ready home and sellers to sell their houses. And we do this in the Maryland, DC, and Virginia region. So if you're looking to buy, sell, move, invest in real estate, contact us below. We'll take care of you. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get updates once we upload a new video. So the question is housing market has slowed down yes are there opportunities for buyers in this market yes so remember i said it has slowed down i didn't say housing markets has dropped right it has slowed down so that presents good opportunities for buyers in this market so if you are a buyer in this market or you were a buyer last year and you were frustrated you couldn't go through with it you couldn't get any contract accepted i have good news for you there are opportunities for buyers in this market but listen if you have watched any of my videos you know i do not like to time the market when i say opportunity that means if you are willing and ready to buy you should make your decision now so that you can buy the house so when we talk about opportunities what are we talking about so i had some buyers since 2019 that are waiting for the market to drop and we keep telling them i tell them and i keep telling them market is not going to drop we're not going to see a drop as we saw back in 2006 so with that being said the market that we're in right now is what we call market correction not crash correction so what are the opportunities for buyers in the markets in this market let's talk about that buyer's opportunity the first one is home inspection so what am i talking about so in the last few years right because the market is crazy hot some buyers forgo home inspection some buyers will buy as it is but now with the market correction and slowdown buyers should definitely do home inspection not only should you do home inspection you can negotiate with the seller to fix some of the items that comes up in the home inspection so remember every market is local but because the market trend right now is slowing down sellers should not expect not to make any repairs in a house of course it now depends on the type of sales right if it's an estate sale it's sold as it is if it's a bank owned it's sold as it is if it's a short sale is sold as it is but if it's a regular seller they are more than open to discuss they should be more than open to discuss and negotiate with a buyer when they did get an offer and do home inspection now you can definitely do home inspection you should do home inspection and negotiate with the buyer that is one of the opportunities in this market right the second one is appraiser and appraiser gap when the market was crazy hot a lot of buyers forgo appraiser right they waive appraiser or they promise to pay the difference between the appraiser and the sales price and these are times when you're offering 40 50 60 thousand dollar over asking price but now with the slowdown a little bit you don't need to waive appraiser so remember the house is the house market is not crashing the price is not crashing but we are now getting back to normal. So with the normal also means home has appreciated a lot in the last few years. So that being said, you should not be waving appraiser in this market. Let appraiser come and then dis discuss, negotiate with the seller if the appraiser did not come back as the contract price. So that is the second opportunity in this market. So the third opportunity, right? is closing cost help assistant Woof! we have not seen this for a while so what am i talking about the opportunity to ask to ask the seller to pay part of your closing cost as a buyer right so buyers have down payments and closing costs so in this market that is slow now we can get some closing cost help from sellers as a matter of fact, I just got $10,000 for a buyer recently on a property. I mean, this is unheard of. 
last year, a few months ago, but now we just slow down, we can get some closing cost help. So, but then the question is, how do you use that closing cost help, right? Not just to reduce your closing cost with the interest rates high in the 5%, not high, but you know, when you compare to what it was last year, it's now 5%. Can you use part of that closing cost help to buy down rates? So if your rate is 5%, can you do rates buy down? I discussed it on another video that I did with a, a lender about buying down rates. That in the long run will save you a lot of money in the interest rate you're paying. So while you're getting closing cost help, you can also buy down rates. Use that money or actually put it in the contract for seller to pay certain points, two points, three points, whatever, you know, the closing cost help. So that will bring your rates down. That is a big deal in this market. We have not seen this for a while. So take advantage of it. The fourth one, I can't count, but I think it's the fourth one, is opportunity to use home programs. I mean, especially if you're a first time home buyer, there are so many home loan programs for first-time home buyer in the state of Maryland, in D.C. and Virginia that can help pay for down payment or closing costs. We're talking about that now. We cannot talk about that in a few months ago. Why? Because sellers are not looking at buyers with programs <laughs> because it takes a while for buyers with home programs to close. So sellers are not interested in any buyer that is looking at home program like ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, trash. But now as the market comes back to earth, normal pro normal market. Now as a home buyer, first time home buyer, explore the first time home buyer program in your state, in your jurisdiction. Like I said, Maryland, DC and Virginia all have varieties of first-time home buyer program so take advantage of that to reduce cash to close cash to bring to the table to reduce your down payment so these are some of the opportunities available in this market that is not crashing it's not crashing it's stabilizing and normalizing this is the normal market and this is a market that buyers need to get out there and buy. You know, I do not like to time the market, but I say an opportunity presents itself. Take advantage of that opportunity. All right. So if you're looking to buy, sell, move, invest in real estate in this market, normal market, contact us below. We'll take care of you. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get updates once we upload a new video. In the next video, I want to talk about the opportunity for sellers. Yeah, sellers as opportunity as well in this market. Ciao.